<clears throat> Amen. We are so, so grateful that the Lord has continually given us life and our spirits are very, uh, very excited, not only for the gift of life, but also for the hope of eternity in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Sorry. Hallelujah. Um, I want to address just a few things, a uh, few things as led of the Spirit of God. And um, one thing I want the church to know is that even where I'm seated, the Spirit of God is reminding me or, you know, uh, dropping it again in me that we are in a season of the quickening of things the quickening of things that is the season we are in so what you are going to see now <coughs> sorry is that uh, things happening very fast things are happening in a tickling overnight something has happened you are reading this before that cools down as breaking news in the world another one is happening in the nation something else is coming up <coughs> just allow me to take my water uh, another one is coming up. So that is the season we are in. That is the season we are in. Uh, I told you I'm never harassed. Let me take my water. Hallelujah. Uh, so the Lord has said we are in a season of quickening of things. That is the season we are in. And because of that, it calls for personal maturity particularly for us who are born again personal maturity personal concentration personal soberness and as an individual you must be able to maintain uh, that alertness or attentiveness that is needed for maintaining your God in this season by the grace of God. Now, I want to handle some few things and I want to begin with my nation, Kenya. I want to begin with my nation, Kenya. Uh, what is happening right now, uh, there are so many road accidents and I want every believer outside there to know the government of Kenya has no solution for the ongoing road accidents. The government has no solution whatsoever. I mean whatsoever. This is more spiritual than physical. It is on an agenda. It is on an assignment. It is, let me tell you, anything happening has a language. It has a lesson and it has a strategy. Those three things, uh, you know, the combination of the three, it may be a lesson or lessons. And anything God allowing to happen, particularly to a nation, you know, where we say, oh, God of all creation, and we love God, is because God is, there's a communication there. There's a communication that is very deep. And it is a fulfillment of what God had cautioned or spoken to us before this time, particularly for those who have followed us about year 2024, you can go back to those videos, some of the three things that God cautioned about. And the agenda of God and the agenda of the devil in this hour are two groups of people. Now, God is, um, you know, heaven is concentrated on women. Number two, on young people and if you look at what is happening in the kingdom of darkness that is also the concentration Satan is out to harvest souls of young people and in my country he began by women you know women and uh, you know women until it was uh, you know it became a national issue women so I want you to know, and, I, and we prepared us from the beginning, that these two kingdoms are working parallel, concurrently and parallel. The kingdom of darkness is majoring on this, and on the other hand, there's a counterfeit of the same to counter, because where the Bible says, the enemy comes, you know, but to steal, 
kill and destroy so this is what you are seeing the agenda of god is to use those these two groups of people in, in the end time move of god and on the other hand we are seeing that because of that i'm requesting or i'm asking the people who are born again i'm not talking about the people who gather in the four walls i also have such kind of a fellowship but i'm asking to uh, i'm asking the people who call on the name of the lord we cannot rest until this stops this this is more spiritual than physical and one of the things that is causing this is because the demonic operations have been given a leeway a clean bill of passage in very high places in the nation of kenya many people i mean have you heard what the lord has said the demonic operation you know has you know, the demonic operation has given has been given a leeway or a clean bill of operation in very high places in the nation of Kenya. So anything demonic, when it is given access somewhere, the next thing that the devil will ask for, all of the demand of the kingdom of darkness, will be human blood. Even if go to a slaughtered or a sheep was slaughtered or something else, the next thing the devil will be asking for will be the human blood. And this is what we are seeing, you know, counter tax here and there. Because why? There is a loophole in very high places of the nation of Kenya. Because why? The demonic has been given access. Has been given access. Um, I'm asking the parents if you have as I mean, school going children, we all have, many of us have, we are all of us, many of us are in that age, we have them. Or you don't, if you don't have, you have your grandchildren, even if you are older than us, you have your grandchildren. I want us to know that things are not the way they were before. And not only in Kenya, because of the season we are in. Things are not the way they were before. Not every gift, like a bus in a school, you know, somebody giving you a gift, a bus in school, or somebody contributing and sowing a seed in, in a certain learning institution, you know, in a certain church, you know, not every gift, not every gift this time is coming from the heart of God. So it is good to know when a bus has been donated in a school, you may not go deeper to, to try and dig where the money came from and who, who this person is and all those things. But let me tell you, the people who are owning schools and the head of schools out there, and even the parents of schools, the, the parents, um, I mean, the, 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 what do we call them, the PTAs and all that, the people who are studying in for parents and students, kindly dedicate every bus in your compound to God dedicated to god parents who are there if you have kind of that such kind of services in your school where you have taken your children kindly don't take chances because let me tell you people are not what you are seeing them and if somebody is not what nowadays people are not what you think i'm, I'm not saying you judge but it is not it is not a season to ignore it is not a season to you know dedicate those means of transport to god dedicate them to god let somebody lay hands on those things and dedicate them to God. Dedicate those schools, compound, dormitories to God. When you take your children there, don't just leave them there. Dedicate those schools. Dedicate those compounds. Dedicate those dining halls. Dedicate those places to God. Don't leave chances right now. We cannot live in ignorance. Actually, Paul is saying, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So we cannot be ignorant. Not every gift given to a school, you know, is on a godly agenda. Not every person coming, you know, to, to do something and, and to start with you as a school, as a community, is, is, is okay. People are, some of these people are sent by the devil as agent in religion in schools and in some places and they are on assignment and let me tell you you may have it peaceful for two three years and four but on a certain I know on a certain given time you know, there will be a demand of human blood so we need to we need to be very very careful we need to be very very careful and when I talk about the demonic race you know, I mean, the given leeway and, uh, you know, allowed to operate in a very high places in the nation. It is also touching the church of Jesus Christ. People have gone for, you know, demonic powers, demonic operations. People have gone for these things. It is not a secret anymore. 
it is not a secret anymore. And I'm even telling the children of God, even where you live, don't just live. Don't just occupy a house. Don't just occupy a business premises. Take charge. Take charge. This is why God is telling Joshua, whatever the soul of your feet will step. Hallelujah. You know, take charge. You possess, take charge. Dedicated to God. If God has ordered your life, you know, to that particular building, take charge. You may never know the foundation. You may never know the, the owners. You may never know how many hands, you know, have, uh, you know, you know, have, 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 have exchanged with that. You may never know. So we cannot be ignorant. These are not the days of being ignorant. Hallelujah. And, and I'm telling us, if you are, you are supposed to board a flight and the Spirit of God tells you don't board it, don't board it. If you're supposed to go to board a vehicle and the public means vehicle, because why? Even some of these vehicles are covenanted to some places, some buses are covenanted to some places. I'm not talking about them. I'm saying all of some of them in the world. It's not only in my nation. So they are, they are, and at a certain time, whether you like it or not, that's why a student of God, God has to order ourselves, you know, and we must be very alert in our spirit. At one given time, human blood will be asked for. Human blood will be asked for. So we need to be very, very careful. That does not mean we are not going to board these vehicles. We shall board them. But as you board them, be alert in the spirit. Be alert. If the spirit, of, the spirit of God tells you, don't board this one, board the other one. Just obey. Just obey. We, we, we are in days. Nowadays, people are not even fearing. You can see they have put those signs of their kingdom all over. You know, they are, they are not even fearing. So outside, somebody has built a house and they have put some signs. Even on the floor, they are putting some, uh, you know, some decorations. They are not fearing anymore. People are not fearing anymore. Hallelujah. So, uh, and that manipulation is all over in the world. So don't just, you know, rejoice. I found a new apartment. Please pray for the apartment dedicated to God. Don't just take a car, just dedicated to God. Not, don't just use anything. Don't, because you may never know the person who bought the car so that you can now buy it, you know, where, where, whatever they belong to. So learn how to dedicate things. Learn how to, to dedicate things and uh, cancel uh, uh, you know, any other agenda, cancel any other operation, cancel, silence any other spirit that may have been there before. Hallelujah. And uh, it is, I hear the Spirit of God say, apart from, you know, being a season of, uh, you know, quickening of things, it is a, a season to be very, very alert in the spirit. Kindly parent, if, if somebody wakes up in the morning, they tell you, uh uh, I don't feel like, you know, I, I, no, not, not the arrogant part of it, but somebody you have worked with and you know they are sober. Somebody says, uh uh, in my spirit, I don't feel like living here. You know, I feel the Lord saying, I stay here. Just allow them. Because that is the season we are in. Hallelujah. We see, you know, God causing a preservation for a destiny in the life of Moses. And God is giving the mother a very divine formula. And uh, God has preserved his own people from the beginning up to now. Look at Noah. You look at the preservation. Look at the ark. Look at the preservation. That is God for you. Because God will not allow the destruction of the righteous together with the wicked. God will not allow Hallelujah. So we must be very, very alert in the, in, in the spirit. Kindly, as you take your children back to those schools, pray for those buses. Dedicate them to God. Let those buses be dedicated to cancel everything that could be an agenda of the, of the enemy. If you can access the dormitories of your children, access them. Pray for those dormitories. No, send your children back to school under the power of the grace of God, under the authority of God. Don't just take chances. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Take charge of where you stay. Because let me tell you, you know the Bible says the devil is roaming around like a lolling lion. That is it. So he's, he's allowed. And by that, because of the season of, of quickening, he's doing it faster than ever before. So we must be found where we are supposed to be found. And we must be found doing what we are supposed to be doing. This is not a season to be scattered everywhere. This is not a season to be scattered everywhere. So my nation, Kenya, the road accident, we have the power and authority, so we are stopping them. But this is beyond the government of the day. It has nothing to do with the government. You know, people want to blame the government over everything. This has nothing to do with, with, the, with, the, with, with the government. Some of you in the church, you have even allowed agents of the devil to, to access the nation. You have given them platforms. You have allowed them to access the nation. What do you expect? After they have come and they have, you know, you have given them access and you're supposed to be, you know, to be protecting the nation as midwives and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, you know watchmen what do you expect A after that what do you expect accident will follow each other and it's not about the government it's about you know the watchmen that was uh, one never watched the midwives that never midwived 
Hallelujah. Amen. But God is merciful. Our nation will be delivered by all means, by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Kaidre, as the children are going back for the second term, I'm asking the parents in the nation of Kenya, Kaidre, pray for, refuse any strange fires, strange diseases. Refuse that. Caution, I mean, uh, cushion the destinies of your children as you release them. Join hands with your children. Hallelujah. And be very alert in the spirit of God. Whatever the spirit of God will tell you to do, do it. Do it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we are in a, in a in a very sensitive moment in the name of Jesus, guys. That does not mean we fear. We don't operate in, in fear. We operate in faith. But then in faith, we are supposed to believe in what God is saying and what God is doing in the moment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want. I also want to, as I say this as a woman of God in the nation of Kenya, I also want to send condolences to the my belated condolences to the people, the mothers and the fathers who have lost their children. Kaitre, um, I said for my condolences on behalf of myself and my ministry, and we are praying. We are praying from the beginning of this year. We have lost women. We have lost children. We have lost. And you know, we have lost so many. Yeah, but the young people, we have lost them. You know, we are sending forth our condolences and we are studying the gap and calling for carefulness in this season we all have children so we are calling for carefulness uh, you know, as the lord is going to help us we are calling for alertness and carefulness let us pray for our children let us maintain our children on the altar let us pray even for our own personal lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because the devil is looking for any loophole possible to destroy, to steal, and to kill. Because that's the season we have we have entered into and we are already in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The other thing I want to say is about the eclipse, uh, the eclipse that is expected. Uh, we have seen it all over. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm told this happens according to the history. This happens after some, some many years. Now, listen to this. Listen to this for everybody who is prophetic and everybody who is out there and you know the season that the times of God, you know the meaning of this. So uh, you have not seen the crumbling down of the foundations of men like what you are going to see after this. You have not seen the crumbling of the systems of, of men like what you are going to see after this. Because why? This one is marking the end of an era. It is marking the end, or at the end of a generation. It is marking the end of a generation, the end of an era. And this is going to on to introduce. That is why the Lord is talking about the quickening of a season. And the season is at the quickening of times. That's all the Lord has called it. The season is at the quickening of times. Now what you are going to see is now the introduction with the power and authority of the new of God. Of the new of God, and one thing you're going to see is that uh, you know um, the, the 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 rising of, of the new of God, you know, is is is, is the operation of God Himself, and the demarcation is going to be very very clear. So the the the, uh, the kingdom of darkness is going to operate. I mean, to bring forth many things. I, I hear the Lord say, "There's going to be you know the involvement, or there's going to be uh, the coming up of, of of so many things in the world." One, you know, I hear the rolling up. You know, one thing after the other one thing after the other hallelujah because there's the, the, we have entered into a season of the quickening of times and on the other hand god is also uh, my god here a quick then you the quickening of times and what you're going to see more of what you're going to see are signs so you're going to see what has been said before by the prophets who have gone before us and those who are you know currently with us here you are going to see you know signs every time you're going to see you have not had of earthquakes prepare yourself you have not seen bridges come down prepare yourself we said these things many years ago ancient some ancient bridges in some nations are coming down hallelujah not even over over that quick or not a bridge will just come down Hallelujah. You know, and some monumental buildings and some monumental places, you know, these things are going to come down. The foundations of men are coming down. The other thing God is going to shake up, you know, is this, uh, you know, the whatever the stock exchange or something or that, that money market you know that 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 where people are are doing market with the money all over in the world you're going to see these things are going to crumble down those setups are going to crumble down hallelujah that does not new you mean you uh, you you don't invest these things are coming down stock exchange these things are coming down the stock those things the stock exchange there there's going to be a shake up and a crumbling down Hallelujah. So we need to be very, very alert. Anywhere humankind has held, you know, for their glory, this, there's going to be a shake-up. These foundations are going to be shaken. 
there's going to be a shaker and we are going to see the fulfillment of the word of God one after the other in a, in a quick way and I hear the Lord say it is going to be very clear it is going to be very very clear in this season hallelujah so this one is calling for you know for personal uh, for personal diligence for personal diligence and, and for personal focus we must be able to focus right personal diligence and personal focus it is a personal deal it calls for personal diligence and personal focus very very personal very very personal hallelujah and, and i'm telling you nobody can hold your heart to be able to fit in this season this one is coming from inside this one is coming from your inside hallelujah in the name of jesus so we need to be very very alert you know the season is calling for alertness for those who are in christ jesus it's calling for alertness and this is why jesus is telling the disciples in a uh, uh, luke chapter 21 matthew chapter 24 when you see these things my god hallelujah he promises in matthew 28 that i'm going to be with you until the cross of the age god i mean god has promised us i love what the bible says in uh isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10 he's upholding us by his righteous right hand and he's also helping us so we are not applying that scripture for yesterday it is now that is the time we need the help this is the time we need him to uphold us with his righteous right hand hallelujah so we should not be dismayed we should not fear god is with us in the name of jesus hallelujah so there's the the, the and then the eclipse is is, a, is going to uh you know cause a net of an era a net of a season a net of a season and let me tell you let me tell you even physically in your own physical life you are going to feel the shifting this it is going to be so real if you're walking right with god in the shifting even in the atmosphere is going to be felt all over in the world it's going to be felt all over in the world so we need to we need to to be very alert so and i hear that all say it is a prophetic portal that has been opened for us. So every one of us should be able now to align ourselves to what God is saying and doing in our own world. Hallelujah. Because God is dealing with us individually, depending on the measure of grace that he has released upon us. So each one of us be, must be able to get hold. Joseph is fitting in in Egypt in his own season when God has brought it, brought it in, his own, in, in his own season. So much is happening around in, in Egypt all over. But he, you know, God is dealing with a person as an individual. Joseph as an individual, as a remnant of God's people in that land. Hallelujah. So much is happening during the time of Mordecai and Esther. But what do you see? This two are fitting in in the season of God for their lives you know hallelujah for too much activities but God is singling out look at what has happened to Daniel now God is you know singling these people out and causing them to fit in into the season of their God despite the activities and what is going around in Babylon that is it hallelujah so even in this season God is singling out the remnants of his people and causing us to fit in his own season with us and for us. So despite what the enemy has come to do, still kill and destroy, on the other hand, we should not forget that Jesus came so that he can destroy the works of the enemy, number two, so that we can have light and have it in abundance. So that let us not forget, despite what we are seeing physically happen here on earth, because this earth has a father. You know this world has a father so on the other hand what is uh what is being accomplished for our kingdom and in our kingdom in the name of jesus hallelujah so we need to we need we need to um to shape up and to fit in by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so not only in my nation kenyan or in africa we are going to see uh, let, let me tell you uh we prepared us before it, we have entered into a season the digital era you have not seen the artificial intelligence in operation as what you are going to see now you have not seen innovations like what you're about to see now so if you have been shocked by the few things you have seen you have not seen yet we have not seen yet the bible says the knowledge will increase in this season and i mean the knowledge will increase and wicked as knowledge is increasing wickedness is, is also increasing uh, knowledge is the increment of wisdom i mean of knowledge on earth is also coming with the increment of wick wickedness hallelujah but on the other hand you know wisdom, knowledge is increasing in our kingdom of god and also righteousness and purity and uh, you know purification and all those things are also increasing for the sake of our kingdom hallelujah so everyone must fit in well that's why the bible says in the book of revelation those who are wicked continue being righteous those who are righteous continue being righteous hallelujah so we need to be very, very alert in our spirit in the season, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I wanted to pass those few things. And uh, I'm requesting the church in the world, 
kaidre invest in solar system invest in solar system invest in a dry food invest in farming uh, do your farming if you are able to do one two three things do your farming do your farming do farming church do farming plant your own food go back to the indigenous food you know the food that has does not have chemicals and all those things you are able to do that you know do your own you know church of jesus christ i have been telling us have your own schools can we we cannot just take over the seven mountains of influence when we are doing nothing you have a call for this and you're not implementing the agenda now this is the time because even as a, the shake up and all that what we are going to see and even the the shake up and the crumbling of, of foundations god will be rightly positioning the remnants of his people because why of the latter glory that shall be greater than the former so the glory is sorry the glory is not just about the miracle signs and wonders and all those things even you know economically the church of jesus christ in the world will be empowered it's because even economically uh the glory of god will be manifested in the church of sorry in the church of jesus christ hallelujah so we need to maintain the integrity of the hour and uh we we allow god to do what he is doing so two things i prepare us for two things <clears throat> hallelujah so we are praying for the nation of south africa i will release the word for south africa the other day and uh, the nation of the u.s about your elections hallelujah what god has said is settled and it will not change what God has said it is settled. So we continue praying for South Africa. We continue praying for uh, for the U.S. We continue praying and other nations uh, that have elections in this hour. But I want the nations to know that uh, South Africa is one of the major prophetic gates for Africa. And and uh, U.S., U.S., Kenya, and Israel, they are very key concerning or touching the end time revival in the world. So we need to be very alert about the the eventualities or the occurrences or the activities that are allowed in those three nations uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want to leave that word there for now. And uh, I, I want to prepare the nation of Kenya. The other day we lost a very young soul in our nation. I can mention the name because it is in the public domain. Brian Shira. I, by the way, I had never heard about that name. I had it when uh, that time when uh, you know it was all over today the spirit of god quickened me in the house of god in my nation to pray for those people who are calling themselves celebrities and i want to say this because this word will go to some quarters and when you get it kindly share with them that notion that you have some of you that you want to live a short life but a good life it is taking you to hell. You cannot sell your soul to the devil. Because after that short life, direct the other life, you go to hell. So as a mother in the nation, do the TikToking and do everything you are doing. But remember, after this life, there is another life. After this life, there is another life. Those young, young men who are coming publicly, to say that they are, you know, they are, they are, they are, I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and it is another man, and they are not even ashamed coming publicly in camera. You know, they are not ashamed. And others showing, you know, my desire is for, a, for another, my fellow woman. I don't desire any, any man in my life. I, you know, my, 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 my affection is for my fellow women. That is wickedness. That, let me tell you, that is wickedness. We are going to tell you these things on the face. That thing is taking you to hell. That thing is taking you to hell. Kaide, you can check her out. You can check her out and inquire where you are afraid you went. And we are not judging. By the way, we, we feel to mercy. Personal as a parent, I feel to mercy because I am a parent. That boy was an orphan. I feel to mercy. I don't know whether he had parents. I, I, I think the mother, he was late or something. I don't have more details. But I feel to mercy that of such a young soul that has died in drunkenness. In drunkenness. Yet he had potential, a university material, Kabbalah university, university, seriously. And much money was given in his burial. Where were people not giving to, to help him finish the university or whatever? I don't know what had happened. I don't want to go to those details. But as a parent in the nation, 
I'm passing this word. To, uh, the other day, I passed the word for the young people. Kaide, the people who are calling themselves celebrates out, celebrities out there, don't sell your soul to the devil. No, after this life, there is another life. And when you are put in that grave, because you have lived a short life, and people come and bring all the money and perform in your whatever, and they come in masses and convoy and all those things. Let me tell you, there are only two destinies after this life. Either you go to hell or you go to heaven. So don't please people. Don't entertain people out there and you forget your own personal life. People will please you here and they are going to rejoice because you are entertaining them. But then there is another life after this life. And I'm asking, I'm asking anybody who is sober and born again out there, let us make it a prayer item to pray for our young generation. Let us pray for these celebrities. Let us speak, you know, to their lives. Let us arise to the occasion because this is an agenda of the devil. Some of these social media platforms, they are on an assignment to harvest souls. And the agenda of the devil are young souls. The agenda of the devil are young souls. So let us cry for the generations of our children. If you have them in your house, if they are your friends, tell them, talk to them. Talk to them. And can I talk to us? By the way, anything that comes easy goes easy. You know, people want you know, to get, you know, some little money here and there just quickly and uh, quick fixes will always, you know, mess you up. Let us teach our children how to work with their hands. Let us teach our children how to labor. Let us teach our children how to labor. Hallelujah. So let us pray for these celebrities. You know, let us pray for them. And if you can speak to them, you, are, you have any connection. I don't have any connection with any. Let us speak to them. Let us tell them, it is not all rosy. A man cannot marry another man, and a woman cannot marry another woman. Even if they are paying you, that is an abomination. That is wickedness. And I told you, some of you, you are copying some people you are seeing. As they carry bags, they go anywhere to the airport, and I know they are, they are framing how they are driving and living high lives. Some of these people are on payroll. They have been assigned from the kingdom of darkness to try our young people and to show you this the kind of a life they are living, and they are not living like that. So you, you, when you inquire and you are told how they live and how they get their money, and then you go that direction. It is you who is going the direction that is wrong. This person is on a, on a payroll from the kingdom that, is, that he has employed them. They are not, that is not who they are. Some of these people you are thinking they are, they are, they have, you know, they are, they are, they have married other, other men because they are men. They even have wives. They are on business, they are on payroll from their kingdom. So don't just follow anything. Don't just follow anything. Don't just follow anything. And I pray even for those people who have schools and people who are mindful about the generations of children. Talk to them. Tell them. Talk to them. I know in some quarters you cannot speak these things because, you know, there is freedom of doing whatever they are supposed to do. But before we get there, when we have an opportunity, we are going to say no. Let, let our young people mind about their eternity in the name of Jesus. So I'm, I'm talking about the season we have entered into. The season is the quickening of times. And I want you to go and read the word of God in the book of Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah chapter 66. You go and read there. Because why? The Bible says, I will set a sign among them. So that is the season we have entered. God will set a sign among us. It is going to be so clear. Go and read the word of God. They won't tell all of it. That uh, Isaiah chapter 66. Go and read all of it. I want to read a scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. Because of the timings and the season we are in, we know this scripture. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, the last verse there, I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. So we have entered into a season of quickening of things. Quickening of things. So, kaidre. So bar up now, because before you see a break in you, this nation has passed this row. Now prepare yourself for digital, for the digital everything, digital everything in the world. The, by the way, the world is going to be brought together like this. The digital idea, and all the God had spoken these things so many days, so many years ago. For those who follow us, you know we spoke about these things. You know the season is here with us, of the digital ideas. God spoke about these things. Now we are here, and you know where we are headed to in the world. You know where the world is headed to. Hallelujah. Digital passports are on the way coming. We'll be just going to the airport without nothing. You know, without, by the way, 
the digital the digital id in the world is, is going to bring down everything that uh you know that uh even your visas will be put there when you go to an embassy your visa will be put there so just present some of these things and uh, you know it's, it's going to, the world is becoming the operation in the world is becoming easy and you know now the meaning of that so it's the season of the quickening of times i don't want to repeat what we have said before so we need just to prepare ourselves and also prepare the generations of our children. Psalm 145 and verse 4, one generation passes for the works of God or declares the works of God to another generation. So we cannot keep mum, we cannot keep quiet. We have to keep on speaking these things and the name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of Jesus. So my prayer is, we have our children, it is holiday time in, our, in my nation. My prayer is that the, the children of my country in this holiday time, the God of all nations, the God of the nation of Kenya, the God of all creation, the God of this nation is going to preserve the destinies of our children. And we are stopping every manipulation in the atmosphere of this country, every demonic manipulation that has gotten a leeway or an access from any high praise in the nation of Kenya, demanding for human sacrifice. We are stopping it today in the name of Jesus. We are stopping that agenda of the enemy. We are nullifying that today. And my God, let the people, let the perpetrators of these things drink from their own cups. Because the Bible says, Father, you are not mocked. Whatsoever man soeth, soeth is what they leap. Let the people who are, you know, who are, who have raised these demonic altars in high places begin drinking from their own cups. Not my father causing other parents, innocent parents, lose their children and all that. My father, let the people who are doing these things begin harvesting from their own quarters in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let everybody pay for their own labor and you know, you know, earn from their own labor. Let everybody you know, pay for their own labor and earn from their own labor because it is supposed to be so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So may the Lord help us. So let, let us prepare ourselves. Spiritual people, prepare yourself for the transition. Even as we come to the 8th of March, I mean 8th of April, prepare yourself for transition, spiritual transition. There's a portal that we need to access and let each one of us be able to align ourselves. And from there, you are going to see, you know, a shifted even in your prayer life, your spiritual life and all that. It, it is going to be, you know, it, it is going to be a shift that is going to be encouraging for them that are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And I've been telling us in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter, I mean, uh, not Isaiah chapter, I mean Genesis chapter 26, we see God is able to bring a distinction of his lemnants and those people who are not of his, you know, when we stay where he wants us to stay. Despite whatever will come on earth, God is able to cause a distinction, a demarcation for his own people in the name of Jesus. So we're in a season that's what the Lord has sent me to come and tell us in conclusion. I know I have touched here and touched here. I know nowadays I'm touching here and touching here and touching here. Hallelujah. Because that is the wisdom God has given me for, the, for his own glory. Hallelujah. So that I can pause the messages. Now listen to this. It's a season. We have just entered into a season of quickening of times. Quickening of times. So even the fulfillment of what God has promised you as a person. There's going to be quickening. 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 So let us be aligned to the purposes of God in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow for those who are in East Africa and even in Africa. Uh, tomorrow very early in the morning. Today is 7. So uh, towards the dawn of this night at a loud, not a loud, at, at a 3.30, 3.30 a.m., 3 that a.m. Hallelujah. And uh, wow, my God, hallelujah. 3 that a.m. Uh, uh, wow, we shall be addressing something at midnight, maybe live, but God allowing us. But then 3 that a.m. up to around 4 that a.m., one hour on Google Meet. If you are, that's, that's a general platform. Every, everybody can join. Let us join up. And, uh, you know, for the rest of this month of April, we shall be taking charge of that. Somebody was asking, Prophetess, why has God told you to do it from 8? I also, by the way, I had not noted until somebody addressed it and told me, woman of God, this is it. So I'm also happy that God allowed me to, when he gave me the date, I did not know what was going to happen. But I'm also happy that, uh, you know, God has arrived it. Uh, the service one hour every day, very at the dawn of every day up to the end of this month of April, we shall be raising up and 
that we shall be praying together by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So we are taking charge of the of the of the season together by the grace of God. And I know the Lord is going to help us to wake up and wake up and with me. Let us uh, let let us let us you know gather together. You can access you go to our Facebook and even our YouTube. The, the, the whatever is there. The 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 details of accessing are there so you can access and just join up uh, in the name of Jesus. I know it is restricted. We shall be allowing people in as they come because also we have to be very, very careful of who is joining up. Uh, we also have to be very, very, we don't want sabotage even as we pray. We need to pray with our own. Hallelujah. And it's the Spirit of God who is going to help us to know who is who. We are also discerning at the same time. So God bless you. Shalom.